Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, we left off, we had just completed Repcon HQ with uh, not killing any robots and in fact turning them off because I figure if someone's going to explore that place again, better off to not let them die. Um, <laughs> I'm just being nice to the prospectors that'll come after. And uh, if they turn it on and they die at that point, well, that's on them. But, that said, uh, there is one last patrol I need to grab, which is near Fields Shack, technically closer to the Nellis Air Force Base. But I want to start from this area, because I want to see if the boomers will still shoot at me, even though if they know I'm the real, you know, good guy on their side. <laughs> kind of want to know just in case also I forgot that this was a place that I had unlocked before and Jimmy's well Jimmy's well oh that was something that was something else is that what is that chem addict uh, well I'll just let them be then oh yeah I'm gonna have to talk to this guy to tell him he was you know, his ideas actually worked. I managed to get past. Hey, George. That was pretty incredible. Yeah. I've never seen anyone come out of the boomer's reign of death alive before. I know, right? I'm fucking amazing. Don't you forget it, motherfucker. Okay. I need to check something real quick. I just realized. Give me a moment. All right. I had to make sure that the uh, recording was set to the right encoder because... The last couple weeks, it's decided to switch over for no real reason. So, now that I know that I can continue on, completely able to focus on the bullshit. Is there... Is there someone still alive? Or is that crows? That must be crows. There's no way. Oh, no. No, they're just Nellis Air Force Base people. <laughs> I forgot that uh, Eddie's perk lets me see things way farther away than they actually are. Yeah, you know he did. She did. Sorry, didn't see it right away. <laughs> Laser rifle. Some, a lot of good stuff. Got this. Let's check my... Uh, Nah, we're not going to pick up the laser rifle. Do I have... I do. I can repair those. I'll grab that. And... Whoops. Did not... <laughs> did not mean to have that happen. But that's what happens when you uh, strip armor from people. Did you have any other buddies with you, or were you just the only one? Because right now I'm not seeing anyone else but you, miss... Why am I talking to her like she's still alive? She's dead. Okay. I should fucking move on. Right. Okay. Well, that little oddity of my own invention aside, let's continue on towards the Hidden Valley. They might like me a little bit after this. Because why not? Yeah. Brought back their armor. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's what I expected. I was like... It's dark, so either it's taking a while for this to fucking process, or the game's just goofing on me. Hi there. They're sending out another patrol? Really? After I just came back with the remains of the first three? Okay, alright. I guess that's a way to run a brotherhood. I mean, I wouldn't know. Why would I know? I'm just a fucking troglodyte outlander. Alright, let's just fucking drop off that armor. Then talk to Elder McNamara afterwards. Because I want to get this armor out of my inventory because it's heavy. And I can't wear it, so there's no point in me carrying it. Okay, where's the... Not there. Okay. That's not where I'm meaning to go, anyway. Um, 
Where is the combat range? I forget. I always forget. Every time. I have no memory of any of this place. No recollection. At least no good recollection. There we go. That's what I wanted. The quartermaster is over here. Hi there. Looking to spend some caps? More like get some. Our patrols caps. are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. <laughs> I should have clarified. Okay. Um. Let's give you that. Holy shit. That's a lot of caps. Um. What can I get out of you that won't weigh me way the hell down? <laughs> Um, nothing. <laughs> okay, well, thank you ever so much. Well, I could get Grease Lightning. Probably give it to, uh, and give it to Veronica. But I'm still not entirely convinced I should. They don't have a power fist for me to compare the stats to. And I don't have one either, come to think of it. Um, balls. <laughs> ah, man. I don't know. The faster attack would probably be nice. Uh, that's a lot of caps I'm losing, though. Mm. Either way, I lose. Fuck. You know what? Screw it. Bye. Screw it. I'm gonna see if I can sleep off a day. If I'm allowed to sleep off a day. Oh, I can use these bets. Oh, thank God. I'm allowed to sleep off a day, and maybe that'll uh, cycle her inventory out. And maybe she'll have enough caps at that point. Here's hoping. Because, fuck, I don't want to lose out on all those caps. I'm a greedy fuck, what can I say? Okay? Leave me alone. Oh, Jesus, Horatio Christ. Oh, geez. Hunger level is increased, and dehydration is up to advanced. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That's the first time I've seen that. H2O is, oh, my. Nearing 500. Woo! Mama! Ah. Uh, well, at least I got a lot of sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and I can't move around because my weight limit went down. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, so. Let's uh, pop a couple waters. Um, some preserved meats. And how's that at? Eh, I could use one more water. I have tons of water. There we go. Now I'm good. Yay! All right, and let's talk tonight, Torres. Spend some caps. Do you have any more? Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Oh, Take a look. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Arkvoodle. Thank you, Buddha. Thank you, Allah. Thank you, Vishnu. <laughs> I'm trying to name all the ones I know off the top of my head. Uh, Vishnu, I think, is the proper pronunciation. I apologize. Okay. Why am I looking to the sky when I say that? <laughs> okay. Um, now that I have done the thing, I've sold the, the things, and let's see what else I can get out of you. I'll take those. I'll take... Yeah, I'll take those. I'll take these. Any 20 out of you? No? Okay. Ballistic Fist. My oh my. Oh, I only wish I could see what the Ballistic Fist is like, because it sounds like it's badass. Ah, uh, 
Shiza. Nothing else I really want out of you. So I guess... Since I don't need this anymore... Sell that and that off to you. Um... Anything else? Really? Willing to sell? Formal wear I kind of want to keep. Because <laughs> I'm a putz. Uh, Benny suit I definitely want to keep. For multiple reasons. Uh, formal wear doesn't have any benefits though. So... Yeah, fuck it. I'll sell it. There we go. And... Call it good. Give me a shout if you need anything else. <laughs> More caps out of you would be nice, but later. I'm fine with what I got. Thank you. All right, and that's good. Oh, there's my buddy. Hey, Veronica. Uh, wait. Why am I talking to you? You are the one with the ammo bench. Hi there, Eddie. I need some ammo. Can you let me make some ammo? Thank you. You are the best. Okay, there's that done. Okay, and. There we go. Let's make some 4570. Absolutely. We'll break it down and then make it into semi wad cutters. Because that's the best one. Let's be honest here. That's the best one we can make out of any of that. Okay. Um, break this down. Even though I'm not planning on making more. The uh, powder is really what I'm going for here. And break that down. And let's see. Anything else? Not really. I don't need to do anything with uh, 12.7 millimeters because, well, to be honest, I'm not making jacketed hollow points out of those. They're good the way they are, so I don't need to make jacketed hollow points. Is for that particular thing. Hello, outside. Hello. You're, that was actually nice. Who's paying you to be nice to me? Jesus. There's no way they would be actually nice to me unless A, they're getting paid, or B, they know what I'm doing for them. And I don't think they know B yet, so um, I'm willing to bet it was A. <laughs> okay, I got stuck on a thing there. Hi there. Prentice Watkins. Hi there. Found the missing patrols or was something else on your mind? I found the missing patrols. I still have the rattle tapes. dead then. Yep. I suppose I'm not surprised. We have few friends in the world above and many enemies. Why is that? But we must turn our minds to other matters. Okay, well. When I sent me. out those patrols, I also sent three knights out on scouting missions. Oh, did? When the patrols failed to return, we assumed the worst, and sent a single communication to the scouts to hold position and maintain radio silence. I see. I want you to contact those scouts and gather their reports. Like the patrols, they have devices on them that will enable you to track them. Handy. When you find them, tell them you're my representative and ask them if the bears are still hunting. That should get them to talk to you. If the bears return are still hunting. when you've hunting. gathered all of their reports. Do you mean Yaogwai or do you mean the NCR? I'm willing to bet the NCR, but if it was a Yaguai, that'd be fucking funny. <laughs> Alright, let's get moving. And head off to... Okay, Watkins. You're kind of in my way, darling. You're cute and all, but fuck. Alright. Okay, let's get moving and find out where those scouts are. And if they're still alive. And if they're still alive... What info can they give me that would be useful? Okay. And once I'm out of here, I'm going to drop... What the... Hi there. Why are you all sitting here like that? Are you waiting for your commanding officer? Or are you just... Um, practicing a dance routine? I'm just going to leave now. Uh, bye. The fuck? Okay. Jeez. Okay. Just keep on moving. Out of here. Watkins, why do I keep running into you? Blonde. Cute. Okay. 
Where the fuck am I going? I don't know anymore. I get lost in this place constantly. And this is the medical room, so this is obviously not right. So, where the flying fuck am I going? How do I keep running into Watkins? How do I keep running into you? Not intentional, I swear. And then there's some fucking creepy kids. Uh... Fuck am I going? Where the fuck am I going? There we go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the flying fuck. Uh, that would have been so much faster if I consulted a map, but no. No, I'm a man. I'm not allowed to consult a map, because then I wouldn't be manly. Yeah, I'm making fun of myself. Shut up. <laughs> That's what I do best. Alright, let's get out of here, huh? And out we go. <laughs> Just silence while I consider how much of a putz I am. <sighs> and still more insane sandstorm because, of course, is this caused by Daruda. Okay. Uh, this was that was a dumbass joke. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? Um. Huh. One of them's by the abandoned BOS bunker. Well then, I'm just going to dump the junk that I don't need from all of that breaking down ammo over here. Um, mainly the shot shells and the hulls. Wait, not the shot shells. The shot shell uh, primers and the hulls. That's what I meant to say, but brain is stupid. There we go. Perfect. And let's get over to the abandoned BOS bunker. Abandoned BOS bunker. I can speak English. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes it's a combination of that and gibberish. Uh, where am I? I'm pointed this way. So, away I go. Over to here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. I haven't been in here for a while. Oh. I just realized something. I just realized something that I forgot about Veronica. I should talk to her. That chip of yours? I wouldn't wager it on Blackjack. That is true. Unless the dealer has a five or six showing. Okay. <laughs> That's a good point. That's a good point. Uh, tell me about yourself. I like long walks in the desert and candlelit metal workshops. Fair enough. Uh, who was this Father Elijah to you? I would say he was my tutor, but that doesn't cover it. Mm -hmm. After my parents passed, he looked after me. The whole brotherhood brought me up, really, but he made sure of it. Mm -hmm. I never had a grandfather, not that I knew, anyway. But Elijah was in some ways what I'd imagined a grandfather to be. Oh, yeah? Did you follow him from California? It was by his request, actually. Oh, yeah? He cleared it with the other elders. Somehow. Somehow. They sent him to look into the dam. There was a time when I'd have begged to follow. Watch him at work. Mm -hmm. What changed? He did. For years, he fought with the council. Taught me to question our direction. Meanwhile, he'd become more out of touch than all of them. I see. On our way east, he demanded we stop at Helios 1 to examine it. While we were there, we received word that the NCR had taken the dam. Demanded it? He was furious. Called it children playing with a bomb. But he was mad because we'd lost its power. What we'd use it for? He didn't even care. Huh. How is that different from how any other elder would have reacted? They're cautious. When they discover something, they respect it, learn its limits, consider how to preserve it. I see. Used to drive Father Elijah crazy. He liked to learn limits too, but only so he could push them. That's not to excuse oh. the other elders, though. They all covet technology for its own sake. Some are just more fanatical than others. Ever tried to talk sense in him? Yeah, I did. I couldn't help him. He just didn't listen. And the idea that people talk back to him... Mm -hmm. If he could have made the Brotherhood act like machines, ordering them around with the push of a button, he would have. That would explain a lot of how he acted when we were in the Sierra Madre. What did you learn from him? Elijah could look at an old device and immediately understand what made it work. And he could see its potential. 
where it fit with other technology. I see. It's not something he could teach, but he tried with me. Some of it stuck. Okay. But that's what he taught me. You ask what I learned from him. True. That is extremely different, but I apparently have to still ask, what did you learn from him? I learned what I don't want to become. Uh-huh. In the end, it was just him and his vision. Nothing and no one else. Were you close? Yeah. I miss him. Fuck. <laughs> uh shit. Where is he now? I don't know. Last time anyone saw him was in the battle at Helios 1. I, know where I wasn't he there. Is now. He gave orders to hold the plant until he could be reactivated, but he ran out of time. The NCR overran it. Everyone thought he was dead. But I got a note from him at a comm station. That's how he liked to talk, even to me. He wasn't good at face-to-face. Uh-huh. Yeah. I know. Do I mean what? No, I don't. No. <laughs> what was in the note? It was... strange. Even for Father Elijah. He's always been unstable, but this was... something else. Oh, yeah? I don't want to say delusional, but I don't know what else to call it. The only thing familiar about it was the signature. Huh. He said the Brotherhood was doomed, but that he'd return, save us. But the way he said it, I don't know. Said he'd return with one of the greatest treasures of the old world, make the Mojave like it was meant to be. Wipe the slate clean. With the red mist and the holograms. You guys remember that? That's what he was planning on doing with those? Wipe out the entire Mojave with all of that and then recreate it in whatever image he wanted? How he was a megalomaniac because of that? That's what he meant when he left her that note. And she doesn't know. She doesn't know how far he fell into insanity. Oh boy. Uh, there's nothing else I can really talk about. Damn it. Um, tell me something else about you. Can I make it up? <laughs> okay. Okay, you are now my favorite. <laughs> what are your goals? I want a dress. A dress. Yeah, a good one. Something elegant and classy, you know? But still stylish. Uh-huh. Something that's eye-catching and sexy, but also says, don't fuck with me. I keep hoping I'll come okay. across some old-world designer gown when I'm scavenging, but it never happens. Maybe I should move back to California. That's your goal? You want a nice dress? Why would I ask that? That's a perfectly reasonable goal! Especially in post-war apocalyptia. Fuck yeah. I would probably want a nice suit, but sure. <laughs> she wants a nice dress? Let her have a fucking nice dress. Fuck it. Hey, you try getting a date wearing scribe robes. Might as well be wearing sweatpants. <laughs> I just like them, you know? They make you feel like a okay, woman. Fair. Those ladies before fair. the war, they knew what they were doing. Okay. Fair enough. You know what? I get you. I understand. You should go to the Commonwealth. There's a couple uh, nice dresses over there, I tell you what. <laughs> uh, let's keep moving. Let's. Oh, boy. That was a thing. Um, let's get the drop box. Get those. Wow, I have four complimentary vouchers. Holy shit. Um... I'm not entirely sure if I walk in there, if she's going to react or not. So I'm going to save that for the next episode. But I did remember a snippet of a wiki thing that I read a while back that was really close with, that insinuated that there was something really close between uh, Veronica and Father Elijah. So um, we're just going to play it by ear. We're going to play this 
out how it might go. So, for right now, we're just going to end the episode and pick it up in the next one. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one Yole Stray Cat playing games and helping out the Brotherhood various ways and palling around with Veronica and figuring out a little bit about her and Elijah for you.